good demonstration of the WiseNet Device Manager tool. Uh, we start off with a blank screen, and we can hit the search button to search our network. You can see it found all my cameras. It logged in because I've already told it my password. If these are brand new cameras, it would use the defaults. We can then see my IP address mode, DHCP or static, and the IP address. If we need to make a change, we can first tell it credential. So if we need to tell it a different password, we can type in my current password over here. And if we need to change the password in the cameras, we can do that as well. Once we've authenticated correctly, we can then do things like changing IP address. This camera here is at DHCP, so we can go to IP assign and set a manual IP address. We can change ports, uh, subnet mask default gateway DNS, hit apply. And then you wait a couple seconds and it will pop up and tell us that that went through. If we need to make changes to lots of cameras, we can select them all, go to IP assign, and then we tell it what IP address to start at. And then you hit simulate and it shows you the old IP and the new IP address. You can take specific cameras and if you want to move that one higher up in the list, that should be the first IP. Click the up and that will move it higher up in the list. Then hit simulate again. It will reorder the list, and then hit apply, and your result OK should show up on the right-hand side. From there, we can do things like uh, configuring the cameras. On the right-hand side, we have options for changing things like video profiles, uh, updating the clock or time sync, flipping focus, hallway mode, uh, audio setup, adjusting the camera image settings, uh, so turning on things like wide dynamic range, shutter speed, uh, all those options are available here. You'll see most of these menus here, you choose a specific model camera that you want to work with. It will then show you one of the cameras here in the preview window. And then you can select if you want to view a different camera from the list. All of the other cameras of that model will show up on the right hand side here. We can then go through and make my changes to all of these menus as we need. Once everything is done the way I want it, you hit the apply button here and that will push it to all of the other cameras in the list. We can adjust things like I mentioned focus. There's a focus option here. And then some of the network settings can be configured. We can enable motion detection very quickly. We can select a model, choose our sensitivity, and hit enable. That will turn on motion detection on my camera and uh, enable a one large zone for motion detection. We can uh, reboot a camera, factory default a camera, back up the logs, lots of options here. We also can generate a report in Excel or CSV format. The report includes a screenshot of each camera. We can also back up and restore the configuration of each camera for safekeeping. And then we have, oops, sorry, that's over here. And then we can also upgrade firmware. We can check the firmware status to see if there's an update. And there's also a download button here where we can see all of the firmware available, the latest firmware. We can download specific firmware files as needed. Uh, and then once they're downloaded, the tool will then automatically select the right firmware for each device using the files that have been downloaded. And then we can select specific uh, devices to download firmware for or uh, search by model number.